So the Hover X1 drone, I've been using this now for a few months and I really do enjoy it, mainly because it's just so easy to take with you. All you need is this to be able to get some drone shots, aerial shots in whatever location you're in. And this is what the biggest advantage I think to this is, is that it's so convenient. Also the tracking is really good, how you can just literally just set this off from your palm and it will start tracking you. You don't need any controllers. You don't even need your phone. All you need is this. It is really incredible. But it's actually got even better now. So it does have built-in intelligent flight features where it can track you from either the front to back. But now it's got even more. So they've just actually added side track and also gesture control as well. So super interested to see what the side track works like in this forest location here. I'm going to test that first of all and then show you some of the gestures. But overall, this is a really cool little drone. This drone is also incredibly light, but because it's made of this really like plasticky, flexible material, you don't have to worry about if this crashes into something because it's not really going to do much damage. It doesn't go very fast. It's just basically your own personal drone to get shots of you. Just think of it, if you're out on your own, like here in this location, I can just literally take this and get shots of me. Let's test out this side track, see how it works. And on the top of the drone here, it's got a button. This is where you're gonna activate the different flight modes. So if I press this button once, this is gonna hover in place. Zoom out. That's gonna zoom out. Follow. Follow mode. This one orbits around you. This one is like a bird's eye. But this is one here, this is custom. So this is gonna be the new side track mode. Okay, so I've got the drone in front of me here. So, so all I need to do to actually start this is press the button on the top and the drone will take off automatically. So as you can see now, as I walk, the drone is just here on my left hand side and it's now tracking me. It's also filming as well, so you don't have to do anything else. So now I can just walk and the drone will track me here. This is really cool. Now if I slow down and stop, the drone stops as well. It's also still in that position there. Now if we set off again and walk, it's still tracking me. <laughs> so I am glad that this is here. It actually does track you well from the front and the back. We wouldn't have any side tracking. And um, especially if you're on a bike or walking, it's just good to get a better angle like this. So that worked really well, but what about landing the drone? Let's show you how to do that. So if I were to just take that drone off, it's in the air now, just like I was about to start it. Now let's say I want the drone to end. It's done its tracking, I want it to land on my hand. All I need to do is put my hand under the drone and the drone will automatically land on my hand. That's really impressive. Right, let me just show you as well the tracking. So it can hover in front. Zoom out. Zoom out. Follow. But let's try the follow mode. So again, I'm just gonna actually take it off from my hand. Drone's now in front of me. It's on red. So if I was to walk this way, the drone should be behind me, tracking me as I walk. See what I mean? It's super easy to get these shots. Now the quality isn't going to be amazing. It's not going to be DJI quality. It's 2.7K. Um, you can do horizontal and vertical as well. But overall, it's going to be great to not miss out on these shots, to have a small drone with you, able to get shots of you or whoever you're with in this location. And again, if I want to actually end this, put my hand under the drone and it auto lands. So sidetrack worked really well there, but it's also got a new smart feature called smart control. This is where you can do gestures to get the drone to do certain things without having to now press these buttons. So I've not actually used these before, so I'm gonna see what these are like firsthand. Now you can get the drone to actually land, you can get it to zoom out, you can get it to orbit around you, and you can also do a bird's eye view from doing different gestures at this drone. Let's test out and see what this is like. So first of all, I'm going to see what the zoom out is like. So apparently all I need to do is wave my arms at the drone and it should start to zoom out. Let's see how it does. Okay, so if I gesture both arms forward, the drone will start to then go backwards. So as I walk towards it, the drone is flying back without me having to press any of these buttons. This is really clever. Now if I stop, is the drone going to stop? Yeah, it comes back to me and it's gonna keep going backwards. So if I was to turn as well, it's now just following me 
let's just see. So basically it's now gone into tracking mode and now it's following me like this. So that actually works pretty well. So I'm now going to try another gesture, which is I can get this drone to orbit to either my left or to my right. And all I need to do is just do that with my left hand and it should orbit to my left. So let's try that. Now there are quite a few obstacles in this area. So if it crashes, it should be fine because of this material. Okay, so the drone's in the air. Get it to come a bit further back, right. So now if I were to do that, the drone is now orbiting around me. I tell you what, it is clever because there was no lag there. It literally did that straight away. And now it's orbiting around me. So just imagine I'm in like a really nice location. You're now getting this orbit shot. Okay, so that worked really well. Now the last one is actually bird's eye. So all I need to do for this is raise both arms in the air. And the drone will now indicate a bird's eye shot. And it should now actually fly above me and get a shot above the ground I'm in. So that works really well. So it's just directly above me. So it's done that shot. Now it's coming back down to land. So now all I need to do is put my heart, my arm out and it should land on my hand and it has done. And then if I wanted to say that was it, that was the end of the filming. All I need to do is power off and then fold it up, put it in my pocket and done. So it is really convenient. This is why I actually do enjoy using it, especially for the tracking. Considering you don't actually need a phone with you, you can actually control this with your phone, but the easiest thing to do with this is literally just go to any location, turn it on, unfold it, hit the tracking button and it will automatically track you. You don't have to do anything else. It's super easy to use. I am also really eager to see what any future versions of this would be like. A Hover X2 with a 4K camera, that would be really good. Slightly better battery life. There is a lot of potential with this drone. It's a lot of fun. I, I do recommend it. Now, as I said, the video quality is not going to be as good as DJI, but it's not competing with DJI. It's its own niche product. It's a drone that you can just take with you, open it up, get the shots in your location, fold it away, put it in your pocket, and done and that's what i think is really great about this so i hope you enjoyed this video if you did just hit that like button subscribe if you're new around here because i've got loads of content coming really soon let me know what you think about the hover x1 and i'll see you guys on the next one Bye bye